like you know what I'm saying? They can't be wearing underwear sometimes. No, okay, I understand Kyrie, that. Kyrie, full pause on this question, but you're a real hooper, so I gotta ask. I know it's been that one time you free balled while hooping. <laughs> 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 Like just, just on some real hoop shit, bro. Though, bro, like. bro, no, bro. Yo, like yo, Bruce, Bruce, we gotta have healthy boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> That's just oh, like bro, a bro just, question. On, like it's boys' night. Like you can't have boy, boys. It's boys' uh, night. It's boys' night. I get it. I get it. Few, few summers. You know, shit regular. Shit regular. Okay, a few times. He's saying a few times. A few times. Hey, Kyrie. Yeah. When it's when it's unwinding that when it's unwind time, who are your favorite content creators to watch? Now you, that was, bro. Now you, little bro. Yo, yeah. yo, yo! Why everybody like yo? Why y'all doing that? I didn't. I didn't say none. I didn't say none. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, nah, no. Nah, I I just think it's uh between you, y'all, A and P. Oh. I catch a little bit of the. What, are they? They they call the sidemen. Mm, Simon. Some Simon, 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 but you feel me? When it when, when, we, when, we, when it get when down it to it, yo yo. When it get down to Faze versus A and P, that's what then they are. They are. Word. Then then they are. Yeah, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? They are. Yeah. Football. You see what I do on the field? You see what uh, me and Duke Dennis do on the field when it comes word, to football? Word. When it comes to all that other word. things, anything competition related between uh Faze and A and P, we gonna we gonna take it home by any means possible. That's true. It's pretty true. Respect it. I feel like it's like that with any group. You going against any group? It's, they they the ops type shit though. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just competitive. Facts. Uh, Yo, they really they 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 are trying to get them out of here. What the higher they? forces. <laughs> the higher force. The higher ups are trying to get Kyrie out of here, bro. Yo, yo, rage, chill, bro. That's. <laughs> Yo, this is so nice. I like this right here. Nah, I like this too, bro. Yo, is he the fourth <laughs> member of Boys? Yo, is, is, is he the fourth boy? That's fine. No. Oh, Who man. trash? Yo, y'all got my hair, trash. bro. Yo, Ray, it's chill, bro. Wait, wait, what I said? What happened? What happened? I can't. What happened? Oh, my God. The higher ups are trying to. What? You can't speak that on my name, bro. Come on, man. The truth will prevail regardless. But yo, the tongue is a powerful true. thing, bro. That's true. That's true. The truth will prevail. I'm just it saying. Will, we bro. Good. Uh -huh. We protect it. But when oh, you sure. speak about the higher ups, just know we up there too. Mm. I'm not alone out here. Mm, not I'm not going. alone up here. You're not, going, not alone man. out here. I'm not, not alone out here. Bro. Boy, I like that. I like that. I like that. Tribe up. It's like tribe that. up. Stand up, bro. We all we got. So you said. Facts. So phase is not phase is not the ops. Yeah, yeah, y'all gotta put me on other content creators. I feel like I feel like you know of RDC. You know they be RDC? doing like skits. Mm -hmm. They be doing like Mark. Yeah, Bye. they be doing like skits. Bye. Yeah. Great dude. You, you, so you, like they, you like they, you like they skits after like NBA finals and whatnot. They be doing like the locker room be like. <laughs> Bro, they say all the shit that everybody's thinking. You feel me? Yup. <laughs> Yo, they say all that everybody's thinking, bro, and they put in skits, and it's and it's been a, a joy to watch them grow, and they, bro. And, they, and they've been doing it too. They've been in the okay, okay. Yeah, I saw, I saw one. The of yellow boy with the five gift appreciated gang. Like they were saying that they were getting bigger houses because they wanted to work three times, four times as hard to pay off their yeah. rent. And I, I saw it from a, a different perspective as an entrepreneur, just making my own brands, and just like, man, look, it's not so much about the money it's all about pouring that love and just motivating yourself so i learned a lot from just watching them just from afar yeah. Do you, yeah. do you know about our uh, flight yeah flight my boy flight yeah he, like, i hear beat it. you in basketball and all that like, he, yeah, he's yeah his wild. name his name gets around like his stands be coming in the, the comment fine. section i don't uh, but like, i just i just pray that everybody knows like like i'm really an assassin when it comes to this basketball mm. shit but like, mm. i don't want to I say it humbly, like I've really been practicing since oh. I was four or five years old. I'm you, proud of you. You, you are so Nah, Bruce, like, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. 
<laughs> nah, we can't. We can't even just leave it there, Bruce. Come on. Like, cool. like, I just really I humbly, I said humbly. like I just like I, I feel like I'm yamming on your shit, but that's just me, you know. It's... Yeah, on a seven foot rim. But when it comes to like true. really stepping up, it, it's fun because anybody could pick up a basketball, anybody could pick up a football, a soccer. Ball. Sports is just a connector, bro. So Thanks. if I could use that vehicle to to really bridge the gap between other communities, I'm I'm willing to do that. That's what I'll be trying Yo. to do for real when it comes to sports, bro. I'll be trying to like, genreless, bro. Genreless. More you're not people. only you're not just a basketball player, you're you're an icon in my eyes. Thank you, God body. I'm glad I got Honorable. to tell you that while you're here. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah. you. This is, this, is, this is this is really a big move, Ryan. Right? Right. That's I, I, I always yeah, I say it. I always say, you feel what I'm saying, Kyrie? You already know. I always say like, like for you to be the stature that you're at, bro, to still make time for the boys. That's like, what I. That's that, that's it's what. That's, that, that, bro. That, that's that, no, no, no. That's the little stuff that I be thinking. Even when him just going on stream and talking to the chat, I'm be like, yo, a lot of them. They're not doing that. They're not yeah. doing that. They're not really connecting with the people like that. They're not. They're not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so like seeing I, this, be I, like, wow. Bro, yo, so you think we can get, So you think you can get us some tickets? To, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yo yo, 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 if so, tickets so, is all y'all asking for from this relationship, what? we can leave it at just the tickets. Oh, no, 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 no. that's what I'm saying. You As see? brothers, you see, come on, that's not even a question, bro. That's not even a question. Got y'all, wow, bro. It's not even a question, bro. Yeah, Got my brothers okay, now. Okay, man. okay, good. okay. Oh, hold on. You don't, you, you, of course, not. You can't tell me that. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm hey, getting excited. See. I'm getting excited. Push the envelope. Go ahead, push the envelope. Go ahead, push the envelope. Yeah, yeah. Locker room? <laughs> yes, yes. Y'all can get in the locker room. Yes. If I think uh, you, you gotta, it depends on which one. No, 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 no. You to no. Us can, us I, can I speak facts, y'all, real quick? Can okay. I speak right. facts? Oh, right. Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, can I speak facts? Look. Yeah. Oh, I just purchased four course side tickets at Barclays. It's strictly roped off for family and friends. It's right next to. Rock Nation, my family, everybody that's like part of the whole big crew in Brooklyn, New York City, bring it. One game, y'all three, and one more person. You can take all four tickets, which I gotta, I gotta make something in return. Just something there in return. Okay, by return. Like, hey, man. hey, yo, Bruce, Talk chill. <laughs> yo. Yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> chill, bro. <laughs> Hey, yo. No, I said something in return, bro. I meant like, like you know, uh, like what? Like what? Nah, like, uh, yeah. it could be a fair exchange, bro. Of course, I tickets. So y'all could, y'all could give me something on the other oh, end. See, bro, you, 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 you gonna start beef? You know why? Because if we don't choose somebody to go with us, they are gonna think we hate them. Mm -hmm. Good, good. That's so good. Fake. Choose wisely. So fake. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Yes. Okay. 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 Now my thing is we could we could obviously bring one of our friends, right? Mm -hmm. Or we could bring somebody that supports boys night. It's on you. Look at the schedule right now. Somebody pull up the schedule. Look at the schedule right now and then uh yeah, choose it, choose a game. Choose a home game. Brooklyn oh. next schedule. Oh miss Make gift it. miss gift into the five gift and miss gift. <laughs> No, 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 get about it. He's such a leech. He's such a leech. He's a leech. He hasn't been here for hours. He's a leech. Get him out. Okay. Okay, let's see. Are we on StubHub? Wait. You can just go to a regular schedule and just look at the home games. Yo, yo, yo. We need a good game. We need a good game, Bruce. Yeah, pick somebody. Pick somebody good. Somebody comfy, bro. So I can tell the fam now, like, we'll just get some things situated. Make sure y'all good. So do we want it sooner or later type shit, type shit, Bruce? Like, hey, like yeah. closer to December or after that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay, when do y'all want it? Hey. Uh, well, so right now, but come on, man. <laughs> yeah. that words, My chest ain't like this. Me versus 30. Don't forget. Curry versus 30. Oh, Curry oh, versus Curry. Oh, <laughs> Hey, those are all my brothers, bro. All my brothers. Always great competition, but you know, you know, we we bout it. I ain't gonna lie to block. I ain't gonna lie to block. Yeah, Lakers winning. Yeah, Lakers winning. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What? Come on, they winning what? 
Curry, curry. No, no, the like, like the the pole, the pole yeah. in the chat. The pole, the pole, the pole. The pole. Oh, yeah, the pole. Not, not, I'm not saying the, the pole, oh. the pole, the right. pole, bro. No, 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 Come no, no, on, bro. No, 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 no. Yo, chat, save this clip. Yo, no, chat, save no, this clip. No, no, no. The Lakers are winning the pole. No, no, no. No, no, no. Curry, I like Curry, Curry, I like Curry, I like Curry, like Curry, Curry, you know I'm at the pole, you know I'm at the pole, you know I'm at the pole. Oh my god, this is not going to age well. Bro, Kyrie, look at the footage, Robbie ruined for the Nets when y'all, when you and Katie got like, you know what I'm saying, like come on man, never like that. That's if y'all going against the Heat, if y'all going against the Heat, that's hometown, I need that, I need that. I respect that, but clip it up chat. No! Why? Wow. Not even that. No. Okay, no. Just clip it. Just clip it for the fun. Just clip it. Oh <laughs> my god. Just clip it. <laughs> Turn that Yo, shit okay, into so an NFT. So we got, so we got Kyrie versus Lake. Oh, 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 that was crazy. We got the Nets versus Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> I do have other. I do have other uh, teammates. Teammates We got, we got, we got the Nets versus the Lakers, and then after we got, what's the second game? Come on. Yo, I can't wait to see how Ben Simmons plays with y'all. That's gonna be far. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, Love the, that. The, the boys, mm. the boys on the side, bro. That's fine. Oh yeah, that, yo, yo, yeah. the camera go. Ah! Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all bring, sure bring all y'all stuff y'all need too, to to be set up. Of course, y'all can record. We get oh. all the clearance. I mean, good. Dang. Before oh, game, yeah. during game, after game, y'all good. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show y'all what it's really like to. Yo, I've like, never. Like, Never, yo, 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 yo Kyrie, this is yo, crazy. Yo, Kyrie, right? you see? Yo, Kyrie, yo, Kyrie you see, bro? He's sledding us out. Yo, he's sledding hey, us out. Hey, yo, we <laughs> still. Yo, 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 are we groupies? No, 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 bro, 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 we're not groupies, bro. We're the boys. We're the boys. We're the boys. We're the boys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When is the first home game for the Nets against the the Lakers, though, uh, Bruce? Check that. Check that. Which one? Home. I get, uh, wouldn't it be? Nope. It would be this one, right? Remember, I think that's at Lakers. That's at Lakers. That's at no, no, no. At that, Lakers. That's, that's at LA. Go to November next something. One. I think both are 13. Kyrie, my favorite player. Lakers. I don't give Wait, it's a bad, bad. I don't give a fuck. I've been telling y'all niggas this, bro. This is why Kyrie, my Dang. favorite player, yeah, bro. I've been it's telling y'all niggas, bro. See if, this is one, if there's one before that, bro. Yeah, okay. January 30th is the first one we see, though, for at Nets. Ouch. <laughs> up, up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Nah, bro, I'm happy for the boys. Nah, all, all just aside, bro, I'm happy Celtics, for the boys, bro. But I think they, wait, it's just at the Nets? Yeah. Keep going up, keep going up. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah, we didn't miss it. Yeah, we didn't miss, we didn't miss. We didn't miss it. Right. This will be in L.A.? Yeah, but it, it, it got to be no, at the Barclays, though. It got to be at the Barclays. It got to be in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Come on, lock in, Bruce. Lock, lock in, lock in, Bruce. in, bro. Pretty locked. I'm pretty locked right now. All right, so let's do... So we doing January? Uh, I feel like January would be good. Y'all want to go January? January? That's, that's enough time to plan. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, sure. I like that. I like that. I like that. I, I like that a lot. Okay. I like that a lot. We have the Bucks, the Hawks, um... Oh, this season gonna be nice. Mm -hmm. Warriors. That's at Warriors. Warriors. That's at Warriors. That's at Warriors. Oh, yeah, that's at Warriors. If we want that's the, the, the second one, Bruce, make that like after the thirty. If you want to do yeah. the the court. Wait, hold on, but y'all, if y'all if y'all want to meet me on the road, y'all can. It's just I don't have I don't have a setup like that on some away arenas. Mm. That's all. Uh, you could, it's just the court side joints. Is just uh, it's a big ask if I'm not. You know, I'm just saying. Sometimes court side is it's a little much. So we, 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 no, says, we stay home. We stay home at we, we stay home at the Barclays. We trying to we trying to root for them boys. Man, you trying to hear all Yo, that? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not trying to hear the hard art, bro. Like, that shit gonna blow me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Okay, so two game, two games. Is, is, which which one do we choose? Which one do we choose? Official. Let's do let's do let's do a, a home Warriors one. Yeah. Let's do a home Warriors one after okay, January. Okay. After January, let's do that on, another one after January. Oh Wait, so God. first game is in January that we're going to? Yeah, let okay. that one be the court side one with the Lakers. Okay. And another yeah. one he said. Y'all trying uh, to see yeah, Ant Man? I fucking love Ant Man, but that's in that's in that's Minnesota, that's Brucey. That's that's yo, lock in, bro. Yo, yo, you're not locked. You're, yo, not you're locked. not reading. You're, you're just horny okay. right now. You're not locked okay. in. Okay. Can y'all relax? Okay, Kyrie, he's looking at it with us. All right. I got y'all, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go slow then. See, that's okay. the end of the season. Now slowly go up. You know what I mean? It's the end of the season. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Hornets. This is this no, is this nice. This is before. This is before. This is yeah, before yeah, January. Yeah. So so so. This is this is good. This is good. Right here. This is after January. This is good. This is after. Good. Yeah, you're right. Y'all trying to see uh, Jay Denavi play? Memphis. Hey. Hey. Look. Ooh. What? Memphis. Y'all trying to see Chet? Scroll down. Scott Gilgis. Okay. <laughs> Let's stick around here. Stick around here. I think we want to say see... heat game. You're gonna say yeah. heat game. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. What about Bucks? What about Bucks? We could do okay. Bucks. We could do, we could do Bucks. We could do, ooh, scroll down a little bit more. A little bit more. Yo, see what else we got. I, I'm going to be honest, bro. If we if we see the Bucks play, bro, I'm bringing a fucking pillow and a blanket, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> who, who, who's, at, there's not that many after January Hornets, that's like he. The Hornets is good, bro. Like, that's no, we No, we did. We did. Yeah, tell me. We did, bro. Okay, yo, yo, so Boston. We, Yo. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Yo, pull up. yo bro. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, we, yo, we gotta be screaming and shit. Yes, bro. We me? not backing down, bro. We on that. Yo, we, we gonna, gonna get shirts be... made. We go, let's get some shirts made. We get some yo, shirts that... made, all that, yeah. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. we lock. Hey. Boston. Y'all good in here. Scream as loud as y'all want. Y'all good, bro. This the higher ups are there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Say that. They gonna see me. Okay. Them boys gonna see me. Okay, so we got yeah, okay. Lakers. This is the wrong one, Bruce. Wrong one, you brain one, dead. One. I'm not locked. You're not, bro. Jan 30th. Jan 30th. Right, right. up. So January 30th, 7.30 p.m. We will be in attendance. Yes. yes. We're going to be in attendance. Lock it down. Lock it down. Write that down. Put it on the, put it on the, uh, bo- the board. Yo, chat, down. clip that. Chat, clip that. Whoa, wait. It's two different games. Do y'all want to go away? <laughs> no worries. You funny. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah, we got to like let's, get one, let's get one away one, Bruce. Let's okay, get one away okay. one, Bruce. We're gonna get one over. Yo, you don't want to be a... <laughs> It's down, it's down, Bruce. It's down. It's no. after January. It's okay. after January. You're right, you're right, you're right. Come on, man. Lock in. Lock in. Right, right up. Right up. Right March 3rd. March 3rd. March 3rd, January 30th. We need in the calendar. We need the calendar. Need that in the calendar. Hey man. The boys. The boys. The boys. Okay, oh. what is the craziest things you've done seen in Boston, Kyrie? I've never been. Yo, what's up with you? <laughs> Yo, to be honest with you, I lived in a place called Weston, uh, Massachusetts. It was probably like 40, 40 minutes away from the arena. Mm-hmm. I had a good time in Boston, bro. I, I was going there uh, since I was probably six years old, seven years old, to a college basketball camp at Boston University. So it was – I always had family there. I spent a lot of time there. But when I played there – Man, I met my my wife there, and we settled down. So it's a lot of good memories just on the court. <clears throat> Things didn't work out as I would have liked, but you live and you learn. You know, you the crazy shit I've seen in Boston, bro, is, <sighs> man, it's everywhere you go, bro, it's just that accent. It's that Boston <laughs> accent, bro. bro. they sound that like shit's dead. crazy, bro. That Everybody Boston accent like is I love Boston. My, my, crazy, aunt, my aunt Kathy live in Boston. Yeah, it's love out there. Shout out to Kathy. Aunt Kathy, yeah. yeah she she live out there. there, so. Nah, we definitely, nah, I'm excited. I'm excited, man. You know what I'm saying? Ask about <laughs> Doc Rivers. What about Doc Rivers? I, I like Doc Rivers. He's a pretty good coach. No, he is. Yeah. What he the? Is. Yo, hold on. Wasn't it? Never mind. What? It was what? Whoa, whoa, what? Was it what? what? Never mind. Nah, you can't do that. Huh? <laughs> you can't do that. Never mind, bro. I just, I just, <laughs> this public profile life, man, it comes, it comes with a lot. I'm going to say that. Hey, what? People watching your every move, man. People watching your you're, right, every you're, move. Right, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Bleacher Report Being all the over the place. Eye, bro. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I don't, I don't wish it on anybody, man. I'm telling you. It's, it's good. The, the the money is great when you can change your family's lives for generations to come. But all the shit that comes with it sometimes, bro. A lot of people be just waiting for you to do normal shit and just be like, hey, look. That's true. It's everybody everybody got that shit, bro. Yep. That's facts. Everybody yep. got that shit. Damn. That's why I respect <clears throat> KD because he just get on and he just, you know, he don't care. You know, bro. like no filter. Like, and you get on and you can have no filter too. That's really why, like, I fuck with y'all the most. It's funny. I'll be the main yes, one saying, like, bro, I wish that more dudes was like that, bro. I don't care, bro. Then pop your shit on Twitter. I don't care, bro. I like it. <laughs> that boy, boy? You gotta get, you gotta get those characters off your chest, bro. You gotta get them off no, your facts. chest. No facts. Yeah. To be honest with you, every tweet, 
is like a photo snapshot of where you were at that point in your life. So when you leave it, just remember when you turn 50 or 60, 70, live for 100, 200 years, whatever it is, bro. You can look back at that shit. It's, it's, it's going to be memorable, that? bro. You hear that comment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. <laughs> I'm Yo, just tweeting that shit, but I'm, just I'm leaving lo- I'm locked in right all now. the platforms. Just leaving recordings on, on these platforms where people are remember y'all for a lot more than you right. think. Trust me. Believe so, that. um, we have a no, yeah. we have a lot of brothers in our community, and what's some good advice to tell them? You know, they up late right now. You know, they watch us. You know, on some, you know, relig- uh, You know, they they watch us like on a lot. So, what's some what's some good advice? You a lot of them are like young, around like seventeen. Nah, 16. nah, the youngest being like thirteen. Oh, the youngest, yeah, the youngest, thirteen. But I said average, like what, seventeen, huh? High school, sixteen, seventeen, high 14, school, seventeen, fourteen, eight, fourteen, eighteen. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, good advice that I could put in like two minutes, five minutes. Yeah, because we all, we all, we all have different experiences. I mean, same emotions, but just different experiences, different ways we express them. So it's hard to just give general, general advice you know hit everybody so i'll do my best bro a lot of the younger generation of brothers kings gods however you describe yourself just go go search for balance man you need balance in everything that you're doing i'm i'm 30 you know kai likes to damn, say, damn every time I... <laughs> <laughs> he likes to say damn after but truth truth be told it me turning 30 this past year, bro, it changed my whole It's a outlook. blessing. It's a blessing. Oh, it's it's just, a blessing. Yeah, just the way I would like to make sure that you guys have what I didn't have. And that's yeah. somebody that's going to be honest, be real enough to meet you where you are, understand you. My my family has gone through so much. I've gone through so much. I've seen things that I've spoken about, things I haven't spoken about. So I understand people more than they may believe and feel. And I've been put on this earth to do more than just inspire. I've been put here to lead the next generation of brothers like yourselves and y'all lead me. And the way we do that is have a balance, bro. And, and actually not being afraid to express who you are. That's first things first. That's where you build your self confidence is really being comfortable in your own skin. You know, I, I struggled as a kid making like meaningful friendships and being close to people because I didn't know who I wanted to become. So I joined different groups. I became, you know, a different perversion of myself. And I just got a little bit older. I didn't like who I saw in the mirror, man. The first thing you got to do is decide within yourself that you're going to make that change. So when I talk about balance, it's like that self-love, that self-respect, you know, being willing to, you know, grow with other people that make may make you feel uncomfortable initially, but they challenge you for the better. So I've always just wanted to learn from others and no matter what age, no matter what background, religion, spirituality, like none of that shit matters to me. Preference, like however you come, like however you come as you are in the door, you, that's that's who you're going to be. And if you want to change that in a positive way, I'm, I'm here to support that. But, you know, so many of so many of our brothers turn to other negative avenues that don't reflect like that love that should be inside of them. You know, you shouldn't want to go out. I want to say you shouldn't want to go out because everybody's circumstance and, uh, circumstances are different. So my best advice is just find balance, man. Be willing to learn. Be willing to be open-minded and just see people for, like, being human. Like, that's that's really all I've, I've ever advocated for is just I'm a human being. Everyone's a human being. So, you know, I don't think it's that hard for us to understand each other when I say I'm, I'm going through a lot and I, and I couldn't be at my best you know there's going to be a judgment and criticism that comes from other people not understanding but those that do focus on those people and growing with those people so i found that balance in having like the right people around you know people that really support that love instead of supporting you know the the one hateful comment or the 10 hateful comments or the 20 whatever it is people talking shit whatever it is that they do like we focus on that shit so many more times than we focus on the hundred thousand people that are saying i love you keep doing your thing Keep being great, like just just keep going in, in your own light and sh- and be a light for the world. So I focus more on that now. And once I reinter that within my life, like I started meeting mad, hilarious people, serious people, all walks of life that like legitimately live life on their own terms. And I was like, yo, I could dig this because I could be free here. I'm liberated. I don't have to pretend and 
when I'm out here speaking the truth, it's easy because I know I'm protected, number one, but also I'm never alone in the effort to just be truthful to yourself. Like, I'm not alone in people that are out here searching for. So I don't want to over speak and preach, but while you guys are growing and building a community, just y'all are liberating others through what you put into them, knowledge wise, information, whether it be, you know, joking stuff or whatever y'all do, because I, I really fuck with all of all everything which y'all do, even if it's serious, even if it's like <laughs> like blatantly black and white, like that's how society is, bro. Put pour all your heart into speaking the truth in your own way and people are respect you a lot more when you do it on your own terms and you've been more willing to meet them where they are. So that's all fellas. I, if that, I can give any advice, just balance wow. and that self love, bro. Nah, y'all somebody, good. Just, somebody just put question marks in the chat when you said the tongue is a soul. It's some childish oh, man. shit. Some childish yeah. shit. Some childish <laughs> shit. Okay, good. Look, 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 look. Yo, you got it, but the fact that I, I, love, I love every part of the conversation because all walks of life can either absorb it or they they don't it's just is what it is for me so that's that's it bro just experience man and just going through some mm. some like trauma early on in my in my childhood i lost my mom to substance abuse i lost my grandmother to substance abuse and i grew up with a single parent you know that worked his ass off for me to have the dream that i have now and he sacrificed his for me to get here so me paying it forward was just doing what he did, bro. And he just brought a lot of people in the crib that he just mentored and he just held space for them, man. So I've had brothers and sisters my whole life just in and out of my house, just helping, however. And it's not just financially, it's like just being there for people, bro. Uh, my family's from the Bronx, New York, Mitchell Project, 16J, my grandmother raised six kids up there. And we all made it out. My my aunts, my four aunts, and my two, and my dad and my uncle all made it out, man. And and if you know anything about statistics in the boroughs or just growing up in the projects or in the middle of the hood, it's not it's not reflecting a lot of positivity. And um, for us, we have an opportunity to really pour back into those same areas and create a better way, bro. So that's all I'm in for. It. That's all I'm in it for now is just to create that better way, bro. I don't want to get too preachy, preachy with y'all, man. Uh, Come on, man. Stop. Uh, shit for the mate. Shit for the mate. Drop a tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, like, that's that the type of shit I be listening to. I mean, in general, listen to just, just preaching shit. I fuck with that. That was good. Like that. That's y'all got bodies. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but what about y'all, though, man? Tell me about y'all. What made y'all jump into all this? Like, uh, like, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, ah. No, 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 I didn't know what I was in there for. Like honestly, I didn't know. I was just, I was just going with the motions. My mama told me, "Boom, you do this, get a job, be a doctor, be whatever you want to be, but you gotta go to go to school, get your degree, woody, 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 right?" <clears throat> but I never really knew what I wanted to do, though. Like I was doing it, but I wasn't liking it. I was just doing it because I got to do it. And I'd always like try to do some YouTube stuff on this. Like even when I was a jit, fourteen years old, I was posting Call of Duty montages of what I can. Uh, 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 collect freaking money from when I used to mow lawns and stuff, get me a, a recording device, record some Call of Duty montages, make some NBA mm. edits. I was, just throwing, I was just throwing stuff, hoping it stick. I was just throwing stuff, just throwing stuff. And then eventually, when I got to like college and I, I was doing my thing, I, I, just seen, I just seen some funny clips on Twitch and I started posting them and I started editing them. I got a little community. I stopped that, switched over, started doing my own thing because I... Uh, it got a little boring. I wasn't messing with it. Started streaming. Started streaming in front of like a hundred people, and slowly just, slowly just grew that. So it really just started from. I knew it was something deep down that I wanted to do uh, artistically, but I didn't know what. And I always find myself throwing, throwing stuff. I have like five different failed YouTube channels. I'm not gonna lie, that people do not know about. Like, like it was a whole basketball highlight page, Call of Duty montage page, music reaction, all type of stuff back in 2015, 16, 13, all type of stuff. But one thing, but but this, this, this hit, this hit. So I, I found what I like to do. Uh, yeah, that, no, I'm here. That's just really, and the face cam thing, 
Mm. Honestly, at first, at first, look, listen, listen, people. listen, listen. At first, right, I wasn't doing face cam because I was just clipping stuff, right. And I started doing little skits and stuff, like on my on my first channel. Yo, the OGs know. I started doing like little skits, but but the viewers found my college. Cause, cause, cause the logo was on the basketball court, and I was doing like basketball skits and shit, and it was calling them, like threatening them, bomb threats and stuff. They're like, "Yo, stop! Like, like you gotta stop this YouTube stuff. You like, you gotta stop it." So I just stopped doing face cam. I told them I'm gonna stop, but I just stopped doing face cam, and I got used to that, and it just never, it just never happened. Like, it's just something I got used to, and yeah. made it more of like, a, "Yo, one day this is gonna hit. One day I'm gonna do this," and they just, it just got anticipated. They just wanted it. it. Just, I just became used to no face cam. There's nothing crazy behind it. I just, I just got used to that. You feel me? But yeah, nothing crazy. Kyler. Bruce. No, <laughs> Kyler. He's the second oldest. Uh, I am the second oldest. Hmm. It's all Let me see. Okay. So I started out playing 2K. Pretty, pretty 2K15. Who was on the cover of 2K15? KD. Kyrie. Mm -mm. Who was it, you? AD? What, it was KD, one? AD. I, I think it was just KD. Was it? Yeah. Wait, what, which? Yeah. You talk about 16, was, 16 was Oh, Curry, 16 was three people. Harden, and, wait, yeah. wait, what, which, which one? Wait, which one was yeah. the one with, with, with like Rose, Blake Griffin, and some of the other? There was another one with like three on them. What year was that? 16, 16. That was 16? No, 17. Oh my God, 13? 13. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, started playing 2K15. Um, and then I started trolling. I got into Twitch when I was like 14, 13 years old. And then it was these two streamers that I would watch, or one streamer at, at that time, Cash Nasty Gaming. Um, and I would troll him. I would send him like funny voice messages, roasting him and shit. And then after that, uh, what's, what's so funny? <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> then after that, uh, let's see. I was sitting on the floor with a laptop too, and the laptop would overheat. So I didn't have a real setup. I didn't have a desk, you know? Um, I did a lot. I did a lot on YouTube, bro. I did a lot of wild shit too. I go like, you're a little troll. I was, you're I was, you're yeah, a little trolly. I, I, was, I was just one of those kids that got on the internet too early. So like, I got into YouTube at a good time, I feel like, and then I just always, I quit YouTube for Twitch in 2017, and then I went full force on Twitch. And I started seeing growth just going up, going up, going up, and just kept doing it. So that's really it. Stop <laughs> it, school. Like that's that, it. that boy, that's bro. It. That's mm. it. So you came in the game as a troll. Yeah, I came in the game as a chat troll, like just somebody that would just get my get my rocks off just saying that they sucked at a game or that they were ugly as shit. So pretty negative, pretty negative, like incoming, but positive outcome. Uh, Tie your next. Go ahead. Uh, um, I tried out. I tried out sports. Wasn't good at it. <laughs> Yo, why are you laughing? Um, I tried out sports. Wasn't good at it. Um, I tried oh. doing. I tried doing other things. Wasn't good at it. Um, I was good at dancing though. That's one thing I was. At one point, I wanted to be a break dancer. Um. But then after my mom gave me a, uh, she gave me a, a 2008 T-Mobile Sidekick, and when I got that phone, I started making like little itty bitty videos, like little skits that you know that um, that I would just record. Then I, then I, then she had got me the iPhone 5C. Around that time, she let me get on Facebook early, so I got on Facebook. I was making some skits, started off with some skits. You feel what I'm saying in New York and stuff like that. But I told my, I was like, yo, this is not, this is not really going to go nowhere. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I told myself that, like, yo, is this really what you want to do? I was watching, I used to watch YouTube heavy. So then after, um, I tried to save up everything I could and ask my mom to get me in and stuff like that. I got me a laptop, shout out Aunt Kathy. Then after my mom got me my camera. Um, then after that, started doing YouTube really slowly, 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 slowly. Um, it was doing, it was doing all right. Um, then after I went to college, when I went to college, I hated school, like hated yeah. school, but I recorded, uh, I told myself, yo, from here on out, I'm gonna post every two days. Uh, I kept my promise to myself, started posting every two days, doing like ding dong ditch, um, and a whole lot of other stuff in college and stuff like that. Then after AMP came into my life, shout out Phantom with the Cannon, you feel what I'm saying? 
Um, yeah, I had I had gotten into he had noticed my my traction or like my growth um on YouTube and we both from New York and stuff like that and Phantom at the, Phantom was like killing it. But Phantom always asked himself like yo, he needs somebody else from New York that like really is killing it too. So then after um we ended up linking up and he was like, Yo, come to Atlanta, see how it is, see how the A and P boys is. I came to Atlanta. I see how they was. I was like, there's no way I could join AMP because their chemistry was too good. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, told yeah. Phantom. I said, Phantom, I'm not, I'm not thinking about doing it because you know they, they, y'all too good. Y'all got enough. Then he was like, yo, bro, just be yourself. Just you see, feel what I'm, don't think about it too much. Just be yourself. Do what you gotta do. So that's what I did. Um, the AMP guys was liking it. Duke Dennis hated me. Um, everybody, <laughs> everybody else like, everybody else was liking it. The agent had asked me like, yo, how I felt, how how I felt, how I felt about how AMP was and stuff like that. And after me seeing them record and, and when I finally joined and me seeing them record and stuff like that, it was it was really it was really like a it was it was like a it was like a wake up. So then after I used to get I, I got heavily heavily motivated from the behind the scenes recording. From then I went back to college and I told myself like, yo, this is this you know I don't know if you really want to do college, bro. So it's, you know. Tee up yeah. right now so that you, so you won't be doing something that you won't be liking. So now after the you know COVID hit, um, yeah. unfortunately, and then after we all got sent home, like on the spot, like next day or the next few days, you gotta go home. COVID just hit. Went back to New York. Um, was recording a whole bunch of videos. Um, and then like I ain't gonna lie, I always say this: my channel was on the verge of like really slowing down. Like things wasn't looking too good. And after Phantom told me to get a PC, got the PC, put in, put in my room, started recording. At first, I had said, "Yo, when I get my first house, it's when I'm gonna start streaming." Um, and I was like, "You know what? I'm just, I'm just recording my crib." A rat came out in my crib behind me. <laughs> first stepping stone, little stepping stone. Um, I watched that shit. And you first cried. stepping stone, yeah. <laughs> Rage and Bruce has been around since I, since I started. I started last year. Um, and then after I slowly fell in love with Twitch, you feel what I'm saying? Um, so arguably, like more than YouTube at the time, or like I, I started, I started to feel like, yo, I could come on this platform, be myself, and everybody will, will mess with me. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. so I started last year until till now, and I just been grinding ever since, and the rest is history. Hey, one thing that I heard from both of y'all and me, and for any content creator coming up, and that is right now, bro. One thing, this a similarity between us three. You gotta like adapt. You can't just be stuck doing the same thing. Yep. Throw a lot of shit at the wall, see what sticks, and adapt. Because one year something could be lit, fun to watch. The next year you're irrelevant. And people don't want to, don't care about that type of shit. You gotta adapt and really have that eye of the viewer. What does the viewer want to see? What is the viewer mm. like right now? You feel me? So yeah, just adapt and learn. And I feel and like people get stuck at like how long things take. You feel That's what another I'm saying? Thing, yeah. Because the the moment where you try to stop and say things is not working. That could be like where things about to blow up at. Blow up, yeah. yeah. So yeah. like you know, yeah. So like I feel like I feel like as long as you just keep going and believe in yourself, and you got people around you that also believe in yourself. That I, all three of us, we got the chat that believe in us. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, chat. You know what I'm saying? Chat was a big, a big, a, a big part of this too. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So. Not to the truth. Bro. They're lost, bro. They're so lost. You know, God I tell you when talk about real life shit. You know what they tell me? Shut the fuck up, fat nose. Like, that's it, bro. <laughs> but the but the moment Kyrie Irving comes in here, everybody <laughs> here is working. Yo, everybody here is working tonight, <laughs> goddammit. Right. Everybody, everybody. I don't want to see. Yo, I don't want to. Yo, I see all y'all. Every, everybody on their best behavior right now. Everybody yeah, on yeah. Mm, I they got that one negative button and they cuddle up in bed like, oh, this dude speaking. They speaking facts right now. <laughs> they move on like a dean just walked into the classroom. These, yo, good, they though, going crazy. They listening though. They listening yo, though. They listening, I fuck bro. with this because they probably would have never gotten this conversation if this wasn't a thing. Boys' night. So like, that's what. Mm. That's the beauty of it. And like, it's not. It's not even. It's not even like. Not just the viewers. Like I needed this. You feel what I'm saying? Just this one-on-one -on -one talk of just everybody yeah. talking and getting everything out is. It's extra motivation, extra fuel to keep going. You feel what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yo, how many? Uh, y'all went to college? Yeah. I didn't. I did. I didn't. 
Bro, I did for four I remember, years. I remember and I'm a, you in college, bro, rage. I spent four years in college just to drop out on my last semester, bro. Like that, I feel like I feel like I gotta finish, bro. I gotta just get my degree just to oh, say I do. got it because it's you so. Do. I spent so many oh, years bro, in school. You gotta be what? the college graduate out of the out of the crew, bro. That'd be you, five, bro. Oh, hold on, that's five. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. Hang out that little bachelor's hut there. You feel? Me? <laughs> what that? What that joint gonna be in though? C bro, bro, Kurt. Computer science, bro. <laughs> Computer science, bro. That shit was hell. Like that oh was some God. nerd shit, bro. That is some nerd that shit. That was stressful, bro. Yeah. It was, was, was on a different wave. Street, street saying Corey in here. Corey catching. Corey, Corey catching. Is he? Street saying Corey catching in here. Where yeah. where he at? Why you say that? He was, I just see somebody say it. Yo, Yo every, everybody in your chat lost. You right, you right, never mind. Never mind, you right, you right, you right, you right, you right, you right, you right. You right. You right. You right. Nah, but for real though, bro, like, bro. I'm, pro I'm proud of Rage and Bruce too. I'm proud of them. Yo, we we're proud, proud of you. Proud of, no, bro, we proud of we you. We saw you. We yeah, saw we, you start bro, from I remember, beat I remember to when beat, I first, bro. When I first told, like, we first had a conversation about Twitch in real life, and I told you, yeah. I was like, yeah, do it. Like, you should do it. Like, you gonna yeah. go crazy on there, and then he just did it, bro. Nah, like knew. chat. Like I remember, Kyle was like, "Yo, seeing like a like like on YouTube." Yeah, he had fans, but he saw y'all. He saw chat, and he was like, "Bro, I, I really chat. like the way they fuck yeah. with you. Like, 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 like it's a community. Like, like they listen to you. They fuck with you. It's like an army behind you." Yeah. When I first went on Twitch, when I first went on Twitch, YRG was so like they were like. I, like um, when I first was watching, and I didn't have my account yet, and y'all was reacting to A and P videos. YRG was like, they actually gave me some type of chance. They like <laughs> fill them out. D E O was killing me. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo! It was crazy. I actually hated Bruce at one time. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but things come around. <laughs> yo, yo. Look, look at us now. Look at us now. Yeah, look like look at us now, now bro. Look at us now. Look at us now. <laughs> Yo, look at look at all look at that. 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 Look at Oh, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. I like the, I like sound, the of sound of that. Yeah, I've been I've been in the lab crazy, bro. Since since we we got four old, my J. Yeah. We got four old. That was a Harry. We got four, I, I, we got I, four I, old, bro. Harry, I, I was on this Twitch shit crying. Like I was so I was so upset. I was I ain't gonna lie. I was so upset, bro. bro. I was talking so much shit before the series, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, bro, I can't Yo. say that. Nah, I can't bro. Even it, say no, bro. It, it it was it was meant to happen like that. Motivation, bro. We needed we needed that humbling experience, especially going against the Celtics. You know, it, it was already built in to be that matchup. So we're gonna see him again. We're gonna have to. They're gonna be where they're gonna be. But those youngins over there in Boston, bro, I got to see them grow up. So to see them doing what they did last year on the final stage, making it that far, I'm glad they had to go through us. Yeah. Four old got us got our old. Is out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, it happens though. Be the last yeah. world. Hey, hold on. Healthy season though. Y'all have a healthy season. I see it. I see it. I see. Matters, bro. That's all, that all that matters. matters. That's all that matters, man. All the all the uh, hypotheticals that come when nobody's healthy. You know, yeah. when, when everybody's not a hundred percent. I played twenty nine oh, games crazy. last year. I barely yeah, played home you know, games. You know what I mean. It wasn't the typical season I would have wanted, but you know, it, things happen, things occur. I had to stand on a whole bunch of bigger stuff than than just that. So, damn. Oh damn. Okay. Nah, but yeah. Ask him who so, he likes in the West. Uh, conference, West Conference. You said the, what? The best West Conference team. Who do you like the best? Pause. Shit. Like as a fan, as a fan, like a real genuine fan, as yeah. a as a fan of the game, 
it's hard for me to see it from that point of view. You know, I gotta go against these dudes, so anything could be That's used. That's true. Mm-hmm. And, and I, the, I, I, anything could be used in the heat of battle, bro. Anything could be used in competition. Like, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Is this is this one hard? Always be dip, motherfuckers be digging up clips. They do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Yo. As, as a fan, <laughs> as a fan Yo. though, as a fan though, who would be Yo. like? I don't even know if you can answer. Who would be like one of your favorite players to like? Aside from Katie, he don't count. Can't say KD. It's a cop out. Even though it's probably true. It's uh, it's everybody, bro. Honestly, it's everybody. It's up. I feel that. I feel, I feel that. W- WPR answer. WPR. <laughs> WPR. <laughs> he, he, he thought, he thought about, hey, he thought oh, about Skip Bayless and, yo, that, that's and all what I, That's what I wanted to tell y'all earlier. That's what I wanted to tell you earlier because I didn't even I didn't even fully answer your question because I lost my train of thought and I didn't even know if y'all caught it because Rage asked me a question. I didn't, I didn't even think I answered the question. Bro, the life start. My life started changing, and you talking about when um I started connecting a, a lot more. Just the yeah. communities was just when I got out of this media trained, like yeah. robotic, like I'm answering questions a certain type of way, bro, and I'm not comfortable all the way. You know, I'm being something I'm not. So people are asking me questions, and they're like, "Yo, what do you think about this?" or "What do you think about that?" And it has something to do with my career or something I said or did in my life, and, and it could be in the media. Or it could be just somebody asking me, bro. I felt so uncomfortable because I was taught to give media responses. And when you say that, you look at your athletes or you look at entertainers as robots, bro. We're literally trained when we're 16, 17, 18 years old to be prepared for when we come into these public positions. It's different. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like it's, it's really just you're trained to say certain answers, to avoid certain subjects whenever it gets like political you're only supposed to be a fence sitter you can't be on one side or the other like, if you start speaking about something that's going on in the world and you're not talking about basketball it's like what what the fuck are you, why are you bringing this up right now what are you going to use your platform for you've heard the the term shut up and dribble that goes on mm-hmm. with this society for yeah. just entertainers so fighting through all that mud you know i didn't have to do it without some help from people, uh, from some people that came before me, bro. And that's our revolutionaries. They they told me about it. They told me to be aware of, you know, that training that goes on, that conditioning, bro. To, to I couldn't even be human with y'all five years ago. I'm, I'm just being real. Like we would have got on right now, I would have been like, Bruce asked me a question, and he would have said something that was a little sus. I would have been like, Yo, all right, bro, I'm, a, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just saying, if anybody said anything that was like, yo, Kai, you getting traded to this team? I would have been like, all right, my boys. I'm a- ah! <laughs> I just, just, just because I, I felt like I, I was so limited to what I can say and do, you know, just being human. That was all. So. I ain't gonna lie, Bruce, Bruce had me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce had made another, you know, uh, public, very big public figure like Lee. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce had said something one time, and he had like another like public figure, like you know what I'm saying, on some PR stuff. They had to like not join the call one time. You remember Bruce Among Us? <laughs> Wait, you remember Bruce? Bruce, think hard, think hard, think hard. I don't remember, bro. Can you refresh my memory? Bro, Brody had got caught doing something on on his Instagram, smoking something, and you you, you went on live like, yo, 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 you said <laughs> oh, something. No, okay, 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 okay. You said something. Okay, okay, and he was supposed no, to no, join no, the no, game no, with no, us. No, no, and you want to bring no, it up? No, wait, 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 wait. I did not say anything crazy. What'd you say? What'd you say? What about, I don't remember, what about bro. Kobe? Y'all want me to ask bro, him, that was two years ago, bro. Bro, bro, bro. You told him to spark up, bro. You told him to spark up, bro. Oh, my God. Was that okay, not... Yo. That, was, that was crazy? That, no, it's me, not, me and Brody Cordo now, like... No, of course, but like, you know... You follow me on the IG. Bro. Like, that's, that's, that's bro right there. Like, we're not we're not nearly... We're not nearly at the level as like Kyrie and all these... Because it's like famous celebrity, but there's even times where it's like... Oh, my God. God. Freeze, just freeze it comes back. Lee, you. We're not even on that on that level. This is even time for like for me. Sometimes I see something going on politically or something going on in the media. I'm like, yeah. ah, I can't really give my opinion because I'm about to get, have a whole, like bunch of bunch of bunch of hoorah on my head, bunch of cancel all that. I'm like, I don't even go get my. I'm, I'm, I'm just watch. I'm gonna just watch see what happens. So when I be seeing people like you, just 
do your thing. I'm like, okay, that, that's real. That's, Yo, I need to get like uh, that. I, I got a question, Kari. How do you feel yeah. about this right here? Uh, you just got to read. You just got to read a lot more, bro, and invest in uh, just the I'm right asking, side I'm of history. Question, as much as you I'm invest in, in streaming, bro, just carving out an hour, 30 minutes. I could pass along some books. It's on my gram. I got a few books, just if you're interested. Say that. Wow. Go ahead, look up. Yep. Yeah. What are you going to say, Bruce? Go ahead. So I got banned on Twitch for saying cracker. And and they said it was a, it was a racist word. Ooh. And uh, yeah. How you feel about that? Just I, it's it's old news, you know, but it's just one of those things where it was like, you know, it was it was a it was a crazy time on Twitch. It was like I say, I say that was the most time I ever received racism. Do you feel like we live in a racially tense society? Do you do you feel do you feel like people are are tense about their race and what they identify as? Hmm. Hell yeah. Like which side they on? Like I'm black, I'm white, mm -hmm. I'm Indian, I'm native, I'm indigenous. Do you like? Yeah. Do you think it think it's tense in our society? Like it's like a tension. Like yeah, it's always gonna be a tension. Yeah, yeah. because there's this it's wars. <laughs> there's war out here, bro. It's wars. Like we we on the. Of course, we're on the right side because they, they will say, as black men, it's easier to paint y'all as frustrated and angry and paint y'all as something else, you know what I mean? Just because there's movies out, there's media out, there's propaganda on just who we are, just based on our skin color. So because of that tension you feel, you know, figuring out where it came from, it came from a lot of people that came before us, bro, who we call the ancestors. You know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot out here. That word cracker. Nigga, you know what I mean? Like all that stuff is all wrapped up into like terms used in the English language to describe groups of people. But now because we're in 2022, it's sensitive to say these things or 2020 is sensitive to say these things or 2018 is sensitive. It's sensitive when a person collects another group of people to go against you because you called somebody that or you you know what i mean and the same thing happens on both sides whether it's the c word or the n word and mm -hmm. i don't use either which one Great take. and I say it you know what i mean now in in reference to the terms but in terms in terms of uh, um addressing somebody bro you always gonna get pushed back on that yeah this is this is a racially based society that we live in this is just the reality bro you you 21 so as you get older, you're going to ask more questions about why things are the way they are. And most of the time, bro, people are not going to want to hear you out, especially if they're not like tapped in, like not mm -hmm. in just to the not in just to the black skin, all skin folk and kin folk, uh, by the mm -hmm. way, too. It's a lot, a lot of people who be faking the funk out here and we don't even have time to address that energy. But I'll say this, whenever you deal with something like that, where you have a racist term thrown at you or you throw a racist term out, just be aware that it's it's gonna hurt people. That's what it's that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to hurt people. It's when they call us the N word or we call them something else, or we call somebody else another human being that identifies as whatever they do racially, like background wise, it's always gonna be war, bro. It's, it's in our DNA at this point. Like you you feel uncomfortable when somebody calls you that, or if they called you out your name, like you would feel like, yo, what I have to respond because it's in your blood now, bro. It's war. You like people have been killed and murdered because of this Thanks. so it's, it's deeper you know what i mean it's, it's deeper than just like a racial term when it's a war out here like i'm not worried about the racial terms as much people could throw that shit out all the time like go ahead bro like you want to argue over this but if we go to the truth of what's actually happening in the world and rage what you're saying if you don't feel like you can speak on it the first thing you do is you you do your research but don't be afraid to have uh, uh an opinion on something that is uh discussed in society, like we discuss cracker in society, we discuss nigga in society, we discuss these things. It's not like you have to be, oh, I have to hold my opinion back because I'm saving face for, nah, bro, it's openly discussed. It is not something that we have to be like a uh, uh, secretive about or not prideful. You know, we made it out of some shit. It is what it is. People that look like us, we made it out of the mud. We made it out of pure, pure hatred. They hated us. <laughs> Still just do. because we were black and we couldn't understand it. So racial tension is normal. 
But us being where we are now, we can develop that new language because guess who your fan base is? Guess who your ecosystem is? They white, black, red, yellow. They don't give a fuck about what color you are, what religion you are, what spirituality. As long as you're being yourself and as long as you're being truthful and you ain't lying to them, you're not capping to them, they're going to rock with you. And those are the people that you really want to develop. Not You can't get close to everybody, but you can just share that stuff with them more openly. Like 15 minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes on your stream, an hour, yeah. if you up for it. It's no pressure. It's no pressure to join it and be like, I'm all of a sudden Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, and I'm all of a sudden going to start saying, fuck all these people. Nah, I don't. Nah, bro. Like, there's no reason to have hatred in your heart for people that, like, truth be told, they don't know any better, bro. Right. Like, my people, you know, my people on both sides of the coin, which is, I, I like to say, uh, like when I was born, bro, I didn't I didn't ask for this. I was born both identified in so, uh, in a society as indigenous and black, like or native Indian uh, American Indian. When you when you learn about the wars and the murders and genocides that's happened within there, gives you a different outlook, bro, on how you deal with America. I'll just say that, like when you learn about America, true America, why the founding fathers are overlooking South Dakota like the where the presidents are mount rushmore while they're overlooking my tribal lands that shit for me is what i'm I'm fighting up against is here are these people that have murdered my ancestors buried them and they're just erected statues of them and we praise them on dollars and we pass it out and they just trade in currency and shit like that i don't want to get too deep into it because we got to talk off camera one time about this but it's just like that's where i'm at that's what's in my heart i, I don't take no shit from anybody because i don't have to Right. I'm exactly. a citizen of <laughs> I'm not a citizen of just America, bro. America died a long time ago when they started treating people like shit out here, bro, based on race, culture, and class. I'm not with that. I wasn't born into that. I didn't I didn't want to be forced to see, you know, my black brother any different than I see my white brother, my red brother, my yellow brother. Why? For what? They put that in my in my head. Like since I was a kid going to school. In video games and entertainment and movies, making fun of us, like telling us we only did playing up to these stigmas and shit like that. I don't, I'm not with it, bro. So y'all generation is really the ones that can do it all, bro. Be genreless, accept all walks of life into y'all community. Fuck no. If they if they could be Muslim, you hit them with the Assalamu alaikum. If they comedic, you hit them with the Hotep. Peace. If you Christian. God be with you. You you from somebody from a tribe, you you hit them with a peace greeting that is reflective of you being respective, uh, excuse me, respectful of their culture. And that's it. That's all people want, bro. Just be respectful of their culture. The positive. If we focus on all white people's trash, all black people's trash, all red people's trash, all yellow people's trash, it'll it'll be a war all the time. But if you focus on like the people that are actually wanting to walk like yo, yo, I hear what you're saying. Let me walk with mm -hmm. you. Just make time for them. That's all I'm saying. Five minutes out of your day, I promise you. When I was on the boardwalk earlier today in L.A., like, it's just this Muslim family. You know, I'm around my family, and they're just like, yo, my family knows that I'm in touch, but they don't know how deep I'm connected right. to my brotherhood and sisterhood of all religious backgrounds. All oh, damn. They're trying to get him. No. Okay. He's back. He's yeah, all, back. all I'm saying is just make time for those people. So, are like, are like your friends? Oh my god! I think it's your breath, Josh. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, just stop. It's not my breath. My breath isn't kicking them out the car. Just stop it, bro. Are, 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 are like the people around you and your homies, your friends, like as I don't want to say the word, but like awake as you are, like 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 this. Are they as in tune like this? Or do you talk to people like around you a lot about shit like this? Of course, oh, yeah. I have to. I have to because what comes with this is it takes a different level of security. Yeah, yeah. It takes a different level of security. That's all. So I have to. We all have to be on point. It's we raise soldiers over here, bro. Wow. Mhm. Mm Can't wait to meet mm. you in real life wow. and, and give you a good grip handshake. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have the firmest handshake out of all to but all y'all. Let's be real. <laughs> I love y'all boys, man, but I gotta get my daughter to school early in the morning. Oh, yeah. Fine, man. Do yo, thing, yo, yo. Yeah, it's late, shit. bro. It's yo, late. yo, 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 Kyrie. Kyrie, I appreciate you for, you know, taking making the time and effort for um coming and, you know, you feel me? Having the opportunity to come to boys' night, meet Bruce, meet Rage, and... Your breath. Freeze, just freeze, just freeze, just freeze. So you can't say that.
Yeah. Um, nah, yeah. Um, so, you know, it just came out of complete Bruce Rage and get us secured with some tickets to the games and stuff. So we. No, no. I'm like, no. We, we, we was not expecting that. We was not coming into yeah. like thinking that. Bro, I, that was, that was, that was random said, as fuck. Bro, everybody in the chat didn't think he was pulling through, bro. And he was like, yo, he's a man of his word, bro. Yeah, he did, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was, I was I defending it. it, you know what I'm saying? I said, he gonna come through, he gonna come through, so. He came through, um, he definitely. came through. Yo, can we play, okay, can we actually game next time? Though? Next time. Yeah, I got you, yeah, I got you. I'll be live. Okay. Okay. I'll be live. All right. All right. All right. All right, Kyrie. All right, Kyrie. Be safe. Yes, sir. All right, bro. All right.